This is ABC's World News Now. And hello to our fans online. I'm TJ Holmes. And I'm Rena Nine. And with the top stories on this Thursday, October 2nd, we begin with the Centers for Disease Control now investigating four deaths that may be linked to Enterovirus 68. The most recent 10 year old Emily Otrando, a healthy fifth grader from Rhode Island who came down with cold like symptoms and breathing problems last week. At the hospital, her condition deteriorated rapidly. Doctors say she died of a staph infection associated with Enterovirus. The CDC is also investigating whether the virus is to blame for more than a dozen cases of paralysis-like symptoms reported in young patients in five states. CDC investigators are in Dallas tracking anyone who had close contact with the Ebola patient being treated there. The CDC team wants to ensure that those people are watched every day for 21 days. Among those possibly exposed, five children who attend Dallas schools. We've also learned about a possible Ebola case in Hawaii. Investigators there say the patient is in isolation but has not been tested for the virus just yet. Hospital in Honolulu is following CDC guidelines for patients who have recently traveled to West Africa and have certain symptoms. The Secret Service director has stepped down after just 18 months on the job, forced out following back-to-back -back security scandals. Julia Pearson first came under fire after the agency failed to reveal just how far an intruder got inside the White House after jumping the fence. She also failed to report an incident in Atlanta two weeks ago when a private guard with a gun was allowed to ride on an elevator with President Obama. And finally, a lesson in how to not pull off a robbery in style. Convenience store surveillance video you're seeing catches these guys trying to walk out without paying for beer. They each grab three cases, trying to look cool, just try to get out of the store, past the register. We got a little problem, can't get the door open. They look <laughs> like Laurel and Hardy here. They don't look like they know what they're doing. They kept dropping the beer even once they got outside. This is absurd. You can imagine what happens when they finally pop the top of one of those shaken cans, but this is great. Unfortunately, great we stuff. don't have that video when they pop the can. Nah, I wonder if they're gonna get arrested for this or if everybody's just gonna, this is punishment enough, just seeing them humiliated. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm TJ Holmes. Thank you so much for watching. This is ABC's World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. ABC News to see the whole picture.